Hello everybody, my name is Idiotic Synergy and good news if you're a guard fan, there's new models starting off strong with Usula Creed, uh, daughter of uh, Yukasar E. Creed, oh, my apologies if I've butchered that name. And yeah, it's a good looking model and I don't really have anything other to say other than that I really like the callbacks, I like how she uses two dual wielding hotshot las pistols, I'm hoping they're hotshot. And also, I like this post behind her saying Kadia because, you know, the planet blew up, but she managed to rescue this post. I, I know they probably just made another one, and she's standing on a bit of, you know, standing on some rubble, and that's probably there marking out the territory. But I like to think she brought that along out of, from the first planet as a child and just had it with her the entire time. And yeah, it's a really cool model. There's some really nice callbacks to uh, E Creed, but this bit, I I thought he was wearing his coat when Trace and the Infinite got nicked. So a part of me is wondering, are they going to retcon the ending of Tra of, of the Fall of Cadia, where Trace and the Infinite kidnapped Creed, where Creed just died on a battlefield? Or is she, or is it going to turn out she was there the entire time, saw Creed get taken away, and it, and the only thing she has left of him is twin hotshot las pistols, and his old coat. I yeah, I really hope they don't wreck on the uh, the bit where Trace and the Infinite kills, not kills, kidnaps uh, Creed, because that was really cool, but. If, if it turns out she was there during the fall of Cadia, that I wouldn't mind that. That would be quite cool. The other updated model is something quite old that I didn't think would get updated. Uh, Kaz... Kazokin. I can never pronounce that correctly, so my apologies. There's a lot of stuff I can't pronounce when it concerns Warhammer. But Kazokin have been updated. They're no longer metal. They look really cool. They're in lovely, lovely plastic. Basically, these are Tempestus Scions, but Cadian edition. So yeah, they're not. They're not. They're nothing like uh, Tempestus Scions, actually. Or the diff The similarities is that they both have hotshot las guns, but these models look cool. And I, th there's so many ways I'm, I would kit bash them for cultists and stuff. But yeah, this is really surprising. Casa Kins got updated, which again is surprising. And the Sentinel. Now, the Sentinels got updated, and it looks like they've taken the top bit of a Dune Stalker and then just put some Sentinel legs. I don't know if I like it or not, but then again, I'm not a massive fan of Sentinels. But it looks alright. It looks fine. It looks serviceable. That's about it, really. And also, it says it has a variety of weaponry and war gear that enables them to deal with any foe. Uh, which is true, because I've got a friend that plays them all the time on the tabletop. And he just equips plasma and just overcharges them all the time, because that's what you're supposed to do with plasma. So yeah, that's it. There's only uh, three new models shown off because that's what the leak had. This was the leaked photo, if you remember. And yeah, little quick video for you all. These models look nice. I do hope, though, other regiments get some attention. It even says... Um, hang on. The, that's just a taste of the reinforcements that are that are on the way for the Imperial Guard. I'm not calling it the Astra Militarum because it's always the Guard. The, this release is way off, uh, is a little... Uh, I, can't, I can't talk today, I've decided I'd give up. This release is a little way off, yet a few more armies have will have their time to shine before these kits drop into the fight. Hopefully this means that there is some reinforcements for other for the rest of the regiments. Mordian Iron Guard would be my favourite one. Catachins would be brilliant. 
uh, Praetorians, if Praetorians and Mordian Iron Guard get updated, I will be really happy. If Talon gets updated, basically, I'm hoping for more stuff for other regiments. And I think with this sentence, that might be true. Maybe Deathcore Krieg. That would be cool. Plastic Deathcore Creed. The return of uh, return of the horseback of the Death Riders. If if memory serves me correctly, if they make Death Rider models again, that would be amazing. Just some really nice cavalry units. They there's a lot of possibility in this, and it's all speculation. So I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, that's all right. Please subscribe. I've got a Kofi where you can read my draft Warhammer stories and donate if you fancy it. And I've been Idiotic Synergy. I'll see you later.